Last year, when Apple announced the Series 4 Apple Watch, they promised a game-changing, potentially life-saving feature. Being able to take your own ECG, which can help detect signs of potential heart problems. The most accurate and common way to get an ECG is at a hospital where you get hooked up to a machine with plenty of sensors. No, there hasn't been any consumer device that you could get over the counter to help you do these tests at home. Until now. So, how do you do it? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Here's how to take your ECG on the Apple Watch Series 4. Step 1. Make sure you have the right Apple Watch. The feature is only available on Series 4, the model that was released in late 2018. If you have an older Apple Watch, the next best thing is turning on irregular rhythm notifications from your Apple Watch app. Step 2. Make sure the feature is rolled out in your country. Because it requires government certifications, the Apple Watch electrocardiogram feature is only still available in 31 countries. Rollouts started with the US last year, most of Europe last March, and just this July in Singapore. For the full list, visit apple.com slash watchOS slash feature dash availability. And don't worry, I'll put a link down below. Step 3. Make sure you have the latest version of watchOS and iOS. If not, download and install the update. After the update, run through the prompts on the Health app on your iPhone to get started. Step 4. Find the ECG app on your Apple Watch. It looks like this. Tap to launch, and if you see this beating heart, you're good to go. Step 5. Make sure your Apple Watch fits snugly around your wrists. Step 6. Sit down, rest your forearms on a table, pick a finger on the opposite hand, and place it on top of the digital crown. It's this knob over here. Step 7. Hold steady for 30 seconds while it takes a reading. While this is happening, electrodes on the digital crown and the back sapphire crystal under the watch form a circuit and measure electric signals from the heart. Doctors call this a single lead EKG, which is a simpler version of the 12 lead EKG found in hospitals. You're done. Now, most people will most likely get this result, sinus rhythm, which is normal. Other results include inconclusive, low or high heart rate, and atrial fibrillation. AFib is an irregular heartbeat that can lead to stroke or heart failure. If you get this last reading, it might be best to speak with your doctor, especially if you haven't yet been diagnosed with AFib. At the very least, you can send your doctor your results. For that, launch your health app, then tap health data, heart, then electrocardiogram. Tap the latest result, then tap export a PDF to your doctor. This sends your results to your doctor via email. There you go, quick and easy. Now, before we wrap up, it's important to note that the ECG feature on the Apple Watch does not diagnose a heart attack, nor can it diagnose heart problems. Think of it more as a pre-screening tool. Being able to talk to your doctor is always best, but having a tool that can screen for something that is most often than not asymptomatic is always a good step in prevention. Which in my book outweighs the cons of things like anxiety over a false positive. Now, one more thing. Apple is adamant that your health data is kept encrypted and is never shared with anyone without your permission. What do you think about our new how-to series and what would you like to learn next? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.